Good afternoon, everybody. What's going on? I got a couple items to show. One is an eBay pickup. I, I won an auction Friday for it, and I utilized my $11 in e-bucks towards it, and then got some e-bucks on the back end of it, and credit card points. So. I'll show that one first, and then afterwards, I just came back from the Grapevine Texas Coin Show and picked up a few items from my Mexican Silver Connection. Mexican Silver Connection. So cut that out. And the funny thing about this package was it was 1.30 a.m. Friday, it was delivered to the post office literally next door to me. And then it was put on a truck and mailed like a mile down the road. And then they mailed from there to here today. So I'm like, what kind of cock cock crazy logistics is going on here? But anyway, it's here. And I will open it up. I don't know why I don't say what it is, since I'll put it on the uh, description of the video. But let's see. What do we have here? So this is the company. Yeah, that shows real nice. Colorado Silver Company. Okay, there's the plug. It was an auction from them on eBay. This is the invoice. I'm going to put that away. And let me get to the, to the goodie here. Ooh, this looking sexy. Here we go. Two thousand. 17 one tenth ounce gold Somali elephant. I mean, I, you know, most of you who watch my videos know I got a whole bucket load of the silver ones starting from 2013 on. But this is my first jump into the gold variation. I look at the prices of the one ounces for the last couple of years and the premium's just outrageous. I'm not gonna pay a hundred twenty dollar premium for an ounce of modern bullion. That's just silly. So the winning bid was one thirty two fifty. Put the eleven e bucks towards it, so I took it down to like one twenty one fifty. Let's just say, and on top of that, it gave me back like a dollar twenty five or something in e bucks. And I got credit card points on it. So it probably took it below $120. Now, if you go look at this on the uh, JM Bullion site, you would notice that this coin, this Bullion coin, goes for $135 to $140. Yeah, I'm looking at it, but you're not seeing it. So anyway, there is my e-bucks gold deal. Now to move on to the next part of my video. I'll just put that on the corner there. So I went down to the Grapevine coin, coin show. It was kind of sort of preempted. I saw that it was coming up this uh, weekend, I think went midweek or something so I'm like yeah what the heck I'll, I'll go to it you know looked around I wanted to get ideas about the gold one dollar princess Indian head you know just to price them so I went ahead and you know got some ideas it's something I'm gonna have to win on an auction because you don't buy that at the coin show the prices are pretty steep on that variation so here's the first coin you all seen this one before I thought this one was an remarkable condition 1947 cinco pesos i mean this thing just look at that luster cartwheel sexy right and then here's the back of it 
this guy gives me really good prices. It's a husband wife team. They're very nice to me. I've been a uh, customer going on at least three years with these folks now. Really nice guys. So that's that 1947 that's probably like the fourth or fifth one I got from that year and all the ones I have are some sort of BU variation so this next one I don't know if anyone's really shown this before uh, maybe but here we go I think uh, Lady Livery Stacker and Silver Hustle 13 are gonna like this so this is a 1904 I believe it's yeah 1904 Panama 50 cent piece. I would probably say this is a high EF, low AU maybe. And the guy had two years. I, he said only two, there was two years that this coin was made. I looked at the other one and it just was not, not a, nearly as appealing as this one. So... I'll have to keep an eye out for the next year, which I think was 1905. So, not a cheap one. I hope I got a good deal. Like I said, I'm putting faith in this guy, which is probably gullible in me, if not, uh, you know, a fool with money, right? But, like I said, I have a good relationship with the guy. I'm sure he's, you know, if I look this up now, I'm sure it's worth some money, so... There you go, 1904 Panama 50 cent piece. One more coin, guys. And this kind of goes back to the last coin I picked up from these, these folks at the show. And I think it's one of three of these commemoratives. It's a Cuban commemorative one ounce uh, I think it's Diaz Pesos. I'm going to take it out ever so gently and hold it on the, the sides because it's probably the best way to show this. So it's 10 pesos. Definitely a BU condition. And let me flip this around. Yep, it's 1989, 30 años revolución. This is the second one. I think there's one more where they got Che Guerrero on it. So I'll just have to keep an eye out on it. Um, I mean, I, the guy at the store was telling me, I mean, at the, at the stand was telling me the story, and we all know that's Fidel. But then this other guy on the side, I don't remember the fellow's name, but the long story short, is he even didn't really like the idea of going communist with uh, Fidel. So he went on an airplane and the airplane landed hard. Long story short. But yeah, there it is. It is a Diaz Peso, one ounce. One ounce, 999 pure. It's basically a Cuban silver eagle. The consistency of it. So I'll slip that bad boy ever so gingerly back into its slip there and not take it out again. And wish you all a happy weekend. Enjoy. And, you know, until next time, I'll see you all later.